Hello, Puggles. My name is Miss Megan, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Do you know what this is? It's a flashlight, that's right. And what is this? It's a sun. I think these are some clues to our story today. Let's watch and see what it's all about. Hi, Puggles, I'm Miss Katie. And today our big truth is that God made everything. And our lesson is on this card. It says, God made the light. Do you see our card today? Isn't that interesting? So do you guys know what makes the light during the daytime? Do you know? Think about it. That's right. The sun makes the light during the daytime. Light is important because it helps us to see. Light also provides warmth and helps our plants to grow. Today, we're learning that God made the light. That's right, that's what's on my card. Good, so let me tell you a story from the Bible. Here's my Bible right here. Do you have a Bible with you? The Bible is God's word and everything in it is true. A long, long time ago, everything was dark. The darkness was peaceful and quiet. Darkness helps us to sleep and rest. God wanted to make a beautiful place for us to live. And in God's book, the Bible, we can read what God did to make our beautiful world. I'm going to read to you from Genesis chapter one, verses three through five in my Bible. And it says, then God said, let there be light and there was light. And God saw the light and that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. He called it the light day and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. The Bible tells us that God made the light. It was the first thing he did so that we would be able to see the beautiful world he was creating for us. God knew that the light would help us to see his love for us. Someday, he would send his son Jesus to be the light so the whole world could experience God's love. Now, I want you to do something with me. We're gonna see what happens when we turn off the light in our room. Are you ready? We're gonna turn it off just for a few moments and see what happens. When we turn off the light, we can't see very well, can we? But when we turn the light on, we can see. Can you see your hands? Let's clap our hands, ready? Good. Can you see your feet? Can't really see my feet. Ugh. You see your feet? Let's stomp our feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. That's right, the light helps us to see. But what happens when we turn off the light again, let's turn off the light again. And look at my flashlight. Do you see the flashlight? The flashlight, it helps us to see too. We are so thankful that God made the light so we can see. All right, I have a few questions for you. You guys, how does light help us? I said it. Can you think about it? How does the light help us? That's right, so that we can see the beautiful world that God created for us. Now, how does darkness help us? Think about it. Darkness helps us to get good sleep and rest, doesn't it? And then the light comes again during the daytime and the darkness comes at night. That's right, good job. You guys are good thinkers. All right, let's pray together. Can you guys fold your hands like this? So there's no distraction. And can you close your eyes so you're only thinking about God? Dear God, thank you so much for creating the light so that we can see and the darkness so we can sleep and rest. We love you, God. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening, Puggles. Goodbye. Wow, that was great. 
Boys and girls, I'm happy when the light is on or the sun is shining. God made the light and I like it when I can see all the people who love me. And I like it when I can see you. Can you smile for me? Oh, what beautiful smiling faces. This is God's book, the Bible. In the Bible, we can read what God did. The Bible tells us that God made light. God made everything. Can you say that with me? God made everything. Let's say that again. God made everything. Great job. That's what our verse says too. Our verse is found in God's book, the Bible. Let's listen to our verse. Hi Puggles. We're going to sing our big verse number one, Acts 17, 24. Let's sing it together. God made the world and everything in it. God made the world and everything in it. Acts 17, 24. It says it in the Bible. God made the world and everything in it. Again, God made the world and everything in it. God made the world and everything in it. Acts 17, 24. It says it in the Bible. God made the world and everything in it. Acts 17, 24. It says it in the Bible. God made the world and everything in it. Thank you for joining us today, Puggles, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye!